Why won't my girlfriend return my calls? <laughs> Goodness sakes! Now calm down, everyone! <laughs> Thank you, Detective Unisquirm. I do have the answers to all y'all's questions in this here envelope. Except for yours, Kevin. I would get relationship advice elsewhere. Oh, guess it's back to crying into my pillow. Thank you for your time. Quiet, Hobby Frog. Come watch, Hobby Frog. We've been waiting all season to see who stole the Jurassic Jewel on Detective Unisquirm. I would, but my teleportation device is almost complete. The evil criminal who stole the Jurassic Jewel is... Officer Ostrich and Detective Unisquirm. Huh? Wait, what? Whoa! No! This can't be true! Life in prison! We're innocent! We done been framed! I swear it! Looks like they'll be doing time rather than solving crime. All this and more next season on Detective Unisquirm. No! No! You okay, Hobby Bear? It can't be true. It, it can't be true. It's not real. It's a bad dream. I'll take that as a yes. Behold! My completed teleportation device! Oh! Teleport me! Teleport me! Well, it's almost complete. Just need to weld these last two wires. Hmm, is this the teleportation wire or the HDMI cable from the TV? Oh well, let's live on the edge. Bobby <laughs> <Call me> Bear! <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. I'm in the TV show. <gasps> in the police station. Officers are filing documents. <laughs> Returning phone calls. And reheating old sardines in the microwave. Ah, this is all I could have ever dreamed of. Oops, I think I crossed the television and teleportation wires. You think? How do we get them out of there? Hey, young feller, are you here to help clear our names? <gasps> oh my gosh, <laughs> Officer Ostrich and Detective Unisquirm are here too. <laughs> Wait a minute, I thought you guys were in jail. <laughs> they just let us out for recess? <laughs> yeah. Uh, since when can you talk? Uh, uh oops, uh, w what I meant to say was... <laughs> Hey, you guys aren't just the real criminals disguised as my favorite fictional heroes, are you? Us? Of course not. Hmm. All right, cool. Then let's go find our first suspects. Hmm. <laughs> Stop! Could you be the criminal? How dare you? Could you be the criminal? Oh. Oops. 
sorry, everything checks out. Carry on, you're free to go. <laughs> oh. huh? Wait a minute. I investigated everyone in this city, except for two people. Who? You two! What? Ah! Ah! Kevin the journalist! But why? I thought I could impress my girlfriend if I only had the Jurassic Jewel. So I stole it and blamed the crime on Detective Unisquirm and Officer Ostrich. It's not happening, Kevin. And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for you meddling hobby kids. And I'll be taking that. <laughs> oh. Oh. You had quite an adventure in the TV, Hobby Bear. Yeah, good thing I was able to reverse my teleportation device to get you out. Thanks, guys. Oh, oh shh, shh, the show's on. And that's the end of the episode. The day is saved. Kevin and his criminal accomplice are in prison. Detective Unisquirm and Officer Ostrich are free, and the Jurassic Jewel is safe and sound. Thanks, Hobby Bear. Thank you, officers. In a world where the crimes are too small. Boy, these crimes are just too gosh dang small. Only one limbless invertebrate can squirm onto the scene. Oh my, could it be? Detective Yuna Squirm, get hooked this summer. That was dumb. Awesome. And uh, by dumb, I mean really cool. Really cool! That was cool, right? Can we make an award-winning major motion picture too, Dad? Can, can we, we, can we, can we, can we? I think if you guys want to make a movie, you'll need equipment. Uh, whoa. Okay, Hobby Dad, what else do we need? Huh, you would probably need a sound stage to film in. <gasps> How did we get here? You blinked for a long time. Anything else? I guess, actors? Cameron the Chameleon, your biggest fan! When I get nervous, I blend into things or throw up, but that's very rare. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you Nervous Chameleon Fainter 197? You know who I am? Yeah, you comment first on all of our videos, even when you're not even first. Yep, that's me! Perfect! Cameron, you can be our star! Thanks for your help, Hobby Dad! See you at the premiere! <laughs> oh my gosh! I've always wanted to be in a Hobby Kids video! <laughs> Major motion picture! Excuse me! Major motion picture! I want my own action figure, theme park, and toilet paper with my face printed on it! <laughs> As director, I appoint Hobby Bear to write the script. It must be crafted with intelligence, wit, and... <laughs> it's perfect! It's so action-packed! I smell sequel! I smell something else. I didn't realize how tiny the Hobby Kids are. Or are we just really big? Pay attention, Slobby Kids! We need to figure out how to stop the Hobby Kids! From doing what, sir? Not sure yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out soon! <laughs> Action! Action is my middle name! Cut! <laughs> ah, I felt really good about my performance there! Why cut? We can't have these water balloons obliterate you, Cameron. You're our star. We need stuntmen to do the job. Where do you expect to find stuntmen on such short notice? It's not like they're just going to fall from the sky. <laughs> <gasps> what mystical powers have I obtained? Slobby kids! That fall was expertly done. How would you guys like to be in a major motion picture? Oh. Interesting proposition, Hobby Pig. Huh. 
As actors, we can break into Hobby Kids HQ and start them at the same time. We accept, under the condition that we will receive 15% of all DVD sales. Deal. <laughs> Bring in the stuntmen. Ah. Uh, question. Why do you need all three of us to do one person's job? Great question. As actors, your thoughts are important to me. And action! <laughs> Thank everyone for coming out tonight. <coughs> Please enjoy a major motion picture! everyone great job hobby kids sorry we had to cut some of your stunt scenes but you'll be getting your 15 percent dvd check in the mail soon yay i love the hobby kids Hobby Bros, I can't wait to see this movie! Me too! I love me some Detective Unisquirm! He's the squirmiest, wormiest detective ever! Welcome to Cinemas Theaters. My name is Ethan. How may I help you? We'd like three tickets to Detective Unisquirm 2 in space, please! That movie is rated PG-13. You need to be 13 to see it. Well, in that case, I'm 47, he's 52, and he is... Five! A uh, 500? My manager would get very angry if I let you guys in. Sorry. But we have other rated G options, like Kitten Cuddles 4, Fluffy Unicorn's Fuzzy Friends, and... Oh, they're gone. Ow! That's my face! Watch it! This will never work. Yes, it will. Trust me. Hello, fellow Jacks being adult. We, I mean, I, since I'm clearly one person, uh, would like to buy with my hard-earned money that I won from working at my grown-up job, one ticket to Detective Unisquirm 2 in space. What's going on? Uh, sorry. <laughs> that was my brother's <laughs> stomach. Sir, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were coming in today. Please come right this way. <laughs> Don't you want our... Huh, I mean, my money? No, you're the manager. Of course you don't have to pay. Hilarious as always, sir. Oh, Keely, the manager is here. <laughs> Keely, reporting for duty. This theater is so sad. Just the way you wanted it, sir. You said, and I quote, I want this theater to look like a place where happiness has never been. I said that? Yep, you're a very unhappy man, sir. Well, at least we, I mean I, get to see the movie now. Oh, we can't show the movie today, sir. Remember, today is our last day. It is? Yep. Theater's closing. Because of the sadness, no one comes here anymore. Uh, will you excuse me for one moment? We gotta fix this. If they close the theater, we'll never be able to see the movie. 
Right, where the hobby kids go, happiness follows. All right, let's do a hobby kids movie theater makeover. Ready? Let's do it! You look different, sir. Still me! Uh, still me! Maybe you need new spectacles, m'lady. Oh, yeah. Now I see it. In order to drum up new business, we need to clean up this theater that I, the manager, manage. Ethan, take this mop. Keely, take this duster. And we... <laughs> I mean, I'll use this jackhammer. Let's do this. Great work, hard working employees that I pay money since I'm the manager. You look different again, sir. Not really. Still me. I think you need new glasses again. I uh, guess. <laughs> now I see it. There's a huge crowd outside, sir. Ethan, open the doors! <laughs> huh? Another manager? Uh-oh! What's going on here? Happiness came back and now we can stay open. You're the best manager ever. You look different. No, uh, wait, it's you. <laughs> now I see it. Gee, I do reckon that we're in outer space, Detective Unisquirm. How will we ever solve the case up here? <laughs> You're saying the moon is the criminal? Huh? Don't you caught me. This, this is, is the, the best movie, movie ever! ever. <laughs> this is the best movie ever! Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss next week's episode. Check out this playlist to see all of our other Hobby Kids adventures. Hey, good job guys doing the vlogs.